hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for take so we are reviewing almost all the upcoming android 14 custom roms for our beloved oneplus 6 and 60. till the date we reviewed the stable non retrofit superior os and the retrofit evolution x currently developers of mentioned rom did not release any update but the developers of cr droid released their first retrofit dynamic test build CR.10.1 which is based on the Android 14 latest sources and it's a highly customizable ROM. So today we will flash this ROM and we will tell you everything like is it daily drivable build or not, which CR Android features I liked the most, which Android 14 features are working in the ROM, how ROM is performing in the real world and finally I have shown the missing features and the bugs present in the ROM. So watch this video till the end to find out which will be the most suitable Android 14 ROM for you. So without wasting any time, let's get started. On the new adventure. As this is a retrofit means dynamic partition based custom ROM, so if you are not on the dynamic partition scheme, then please follow the another video given under the video description with the files given under this video description, rest process is the same. As the ROM did not come with the GFC inbuilt, we need to flash them separately after flashing of the ROM gets completed. Just do ADB side loading of GFC package. Same like we did for flashing of full ROM zip file. In the same way, if you want the GPU or clocked and the kernel to supporting CRDroid kernel, then follow the same step. Once flashing is done, do the format data and reboot the device. So device booted with the nice looking boot animation of CRDroid. ROM comes with the highly customizable CRDroid launcher. Under the About Device section, it's showing this ROM is Android 14 with the Google's new upside down cake easter egg. Serodot version is 10.1. Security patch is also of latest January 2024. Kernel version I am using in this ROM is 4.9.337 which supports the kernel SU and the GPU overclocking up to 800 MHz. Default kernel comes with this ROM is a normal one. Build date of ROM is 21st January 2024. So ROM is based on the latest Android 14 QPR2 sources. Now let's check out is this build can be considered as a daily drivable build or not. Here shortly I will try to tell you what's working Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth with all HD audio codecs, GPS, NFC location. These essential things are working without any problem. I did the complete sensor testing and especially the most important features like ear proximity, ear speaker, mic are working well. All the sensors are working from the accelerometer to the gyroscope. All the VLT calls are working with the call recording function and the call records will be found under the call lock section. OnePlus other slider is working well. Fingerprint unlock is also working seamlessly. Surprisingly, the face unlock is available in the setting and it's also working good. So basically, ROM is daily drivable, but wait, at the end of this video, I've shown some major bugs that may be deal breaking for you. So watch this video till the end. Now let's talk about the CR Droid customization features. I will not go into the deeper of CR Droid customizations tab because it has vast numbers of customizations. For few more customizations, please refer another video. There I shown all the unique features of this ROM. Out of that, mo I mostly liked the header images for the QS panel, which will be found under the quick setting tab. There are bunch of different header images available here, and they all gives amazing look to the header of the quick setting panel. Under the user interface option, we get the smart pixel setting, which help us to shut off some screens pixels. We guess option to how many percentage of pixels to be shut off like from the 18 to 10 percent. This is basically saves more battery and useful when your device battery is going to die. Under the mission setting we get the different toggles and the options like old game space setting, 
unlock higher FPS, but it will not work because our device didn't suppose the 90 FPS. Sensor per app blockage setting helps to improve the battery by blocking some sensors of battery draining applications. Netflix spoofing toggle I didn't test it except that other are normal features. Next under the device extras who gets the bunch of old and the same customizations but as this new CR droid kernel supports overclocking of the GPU who gets the new slider called as the Adorno GPU boost. Adreno GPU Thermal Throttling Toggle is also available which helps to avoid the GPU throttling due to the heating of the Adreno GPU Boost. All the Android 14 features are available in this ROM like new linear QS font tile in the QS panel, new magnification gestures and the magnification sizes, new camera and the screen flash notification alerts under the accessibility setting, new 6 digit password lock with the new unlock animation new android 14 clocks which looks cool both on the low screen and always on display if you ask me about the performance of the rom it's fluid and smooth but sometimes i felt some jitter while switching between the application and specially while using the CR Droid customization setting. But still ROM didn't have any major performance issues. It's fluid for each and every activities. Now it's time to show you some major issues of the ROM. First one is the CTS profile. While checking the safety net, CTS profile is getting failed. Similarly, device play protect is showing devices uncertified. But these errors can be solved by using the safety net bypass and the play integrity fix kernel submodule. Next missing feature, ROM didn't comes with the Oxynos camera, it has the basic lineage of aperture camera application. But still, the camera, video and the pictures quality are very good. ROM has almost all the Android 14 features but only new AI generated wallpapers and the emojis wallpaper are not available under the wallpapers and style setting. So these are the some major issues but they can be solvable with some fixes and the developers will release the new build soon with all these bug fixed in that build. So that's it for today guys hope you liked my hard work for the oneplus 6 and 60 devices where I formatting my devices 100 times and installing different roms and reviewing them for you. So please I request you. To like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.